Hello 3D printing friends. Today on the BB3D channel we're going to do a simple Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro bed upgrade that is completely nuts. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BV3D. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about cool 3D printer upgrades, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today we're going to do a simple Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro bed upgrade and it is completely nuts. Okay, that's a lie. It's only half nuts. The other half is springs. This modification is something that I mentioned in passing in the springtime of the Enders video that I made some time back but I figured it wouldn't hurt to have a video of its own. See, the long screws which go down through the bed and through the bed springs and down into the adjustment wheels, they aren't tightly attached to the bed. In fact, they aren't really attached at all. They're just kind of held in place by friction. And the looser you have the springs, the more likely it is that when you turn the adjustment wheels, the screws can turn too. Now think about it, when you turn the adjustment wheels, if the screw turns at the same time, you're not really making an adjustment. So to take care of that, we're going to secure the bed adjustment screws to the bed with these locking nuts. They're like a regular nut, but the threaded part has a nylon ring inside to provide some extra friction. And that kind of a lock nut with the nylon inside is called a nylock nut. Nylon, lock, nylock. And this little mod is pretty simple to do. Here's what you need. Four M4 nylock nuts, four yellow upgraded bed springs, pliers or an adjustable wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, and some small zip ties. Links for the nylock nuts and the upgraded bed springs are down in the description. So here's how to do this. Start by moving the print head up to the top of the printer. Now you can do this from the control panel by moving the z-axis, or you can turn off the printer and move the z-axis stepper by hand, or in many cases you can simply lift up on the x-axis arm and the z-axis stepper motor will happily spin along for the ride. Then remove the print surface. If you've got a clip-on surface like the fiberglass and plastic one that comes with the Ender 3 or a glass bed, just unclip it and take it off. If you've got a print surface that's stuck on with adhesive, like maybe BuildTac, and you're ready to remove or replace it, peel it off. And if you've got a stuck-on surface and you're not ready to remove or replace it, there is a solution for that too, and we'll cover that as we go. So if you're in this situation, keep watching, and you'll see how to do this without needing to access the screw heads. Okay, next, remove the four enormous bed adjustment wheels. And even though I joke about how huge these things are, I love how easy it is to make tiny, tiny adjustments with them. At the back left corner of the bed, you'll need to remove the strain relief holding the power and thermistor cables there. So unsnap the cover and snip the zip tie, securing the bed cables. Then lift the bed up to remove the springs and the strain relief. Start a nylock nut on the end of each screw. This will keep the screws from falling out while you're working on the bed. Then if you can get to the screw heads, use a Phillips head screwdriver to turn the screw while you hold the nylock nut with pliers or an adjustable wrench and keep turning the screw to tighten the nut against the underside of the bed and repeat this for each of the remaining screws. If you can't get to the screw heads, use pliers and some cloth or part of a paper towel folded over several times so that you can get a grip on the screw without damaging the threads. Use another pair of pliers or an adjustable wrench to get the nylock nut about halfway along the screw. Then move the pliers and padding combination to the other side of the screw and keep tightening the nylock nut until it's tight against the underside of the bed. And again, Repeat this for each of the remaining screws. And be careful not to scratch the surface on the underside of the bed. Most 3D printer heated beds work exactly like the rear window defogger on the back window of your car. Under that black paint, it's a bunch of circuit traces that go back and forth, and if you accidentally cut through one of those, you could cause an open circuit, electricity would no longer flow through it, and the bed wouldn't heat up anymore, so be careful. Now, once you've got all four screws attached to the bed, it's time to add the upgraded springs. Start putting the bed back in place and add a spring on each screw. Don't forget the strain relief at the back left corner of the bed. The spring goes on first and then the strain relief. Then add the adjustment wheels. 
I like to compress each corner and just spin the knobs to let them freewheel into place. Get them evenly compressed and remember that the back left corner will be fully compressed before any of the others because of the added thickness of that strain relief. Add a new zip tie on the strain relief and snap the cover on. Now clip your print surface back to the bed or if you're replacing an adhesive surface, stick your new one on. Then level the bed. Note that the mere presence of the nylock nuts compresses the springs by two or three millimeters, so you may have to raise your Z end stop switch if the nozzle touches the bed when you home the Z axis. Now that you've got the bed level, what do you know? You're done. See, I told you it was easy. Now you can get to printing. Now this will make it easier to adjust your bed and keep it adjusted because now any little adjustment that you make with the knobs can't turn the screw at the same time. And that's how we want it. And these yellow springs are stiffer than the stock springs, so it takes more force to compress them. Now that means that your bed is less likely to be able to shift around and the extra friction against the knobs from the force of the springs means that they need a little more force to turn. And that makes it less likely that vibrations during printing will cause them to loosen over time. So now you've got a nice stable bed that should stay adjusted exactly where you set it. Well, that's about it for this episode. And now my 3D printing friends, let's go print something cool. Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end. And thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. You're all wonderful for doing that and I really appreciate it. If you liked this episode, a thumbs up would be great. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways that you can do exactly that. And whether you're interested in buying things that were featured in this video or just buying things online in general, there are links in the description to get you to the right place. I've got some other videos here that you might want to take a look at. And also please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Subscribing is absolutely free and is an excellent way to keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again and I'll see you next time here on the BB3D channel.